Hi, I'm Houston Singletary from Ableton, and this is APC20 from Akai Pro. In this video, we'll cover Select Track, Activate, Solo, Pan. So just like APC40, APC20 allows me to select my tracks, utilize solo cue buttons, and access the record arm buttons directly. And I'll select tracks by holding the shift button while pressing the corresponding track button on my APC20. And as I'm selecting these buttons, the actual track select button is highlighted on the controller and in live, moving from left to right. I can also select my solo and cue buttons instantly, just like APC40. With APC20, I can, for example, launch a scene, and I'll simply select solo. Now I'll select track two, work with the bass. Now I'll solo track four. Okay, I can also activate or mute each individual track one by one, or several at once, directly on APC20. And of course, everything corresponds with the session view in live on my screen. Now let's take a look at the session view navigation section. Let's say, for example, I'm working with my bank selector, moving it down scene by scene or track by track. But if I've got a more sizable session, so let's say I've got more than a five by eight grid uh, inside the session view. Let's say I've got 20 tracks or 30 tracks and 40 or 50 clips per track. Well, I can hold down shift and now I've got a handy row of bank select buttons which move it in increments of five or by eight. So you can see the red grid corresponds just like that. So it's a very handy way to utilize that shift button on the APC20 to move across many tracks or many scenes at once as I work inside the session view. 